Hi lovelies! So as you can see my brows are not done. They are just regular. Like no product in them at all. Not defined. Not on fleek. None of that. But my face is beat. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do my face and show you guys some new products today. Last week before I went to BeautyCon I received my ColourPop brow products that I ordered. I got the brow color. Comes in this little pot here. And the pencil. Now why this is a huge deal for me and why I wanted to do this video is because I am a loyal Anastasia Beverly Hills customer. I usually have like quite a few brow pencils just kind of stacked up for whenever I run out. Like I don't really switch it up ever because Anastasia has always worked for me and when you find something that works for you a lot of times you don't really want to switch it up too much. I wanted to show you guys and just kind of compare ColourPop versus Anastasia Beverly Hills because I know a lot of you guys are fans of Anastasia. ColourPop is significantly cheaper than Anastasia. Um, I believe the products were like six dollars each and I want to say they're like eight shades of the brow color and the brow pencil. So like I said I got the products before BeautyCon weekend. Anytime through BeautyCon weekend like whatever you've seen like in pictures and in video and stuff has been ColourPop brow products. Anything before that was Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just waited a couple of days so I could just kind of wear the brow color and the brow pencil and really get a feel for how the products work so I can be able to tell you guys and just not try them for a day and then tell you guys oh hey this is what I think because it's not really accurate. I wanted to show you guys one in this video how I do my eyebrows because I get a lot of questions about that. Two, ColourPop brow products versus Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's go ahead and start um, filling in these eyebrows because I have places to go today and I need my eyebrows filled. All right, you guys, so let's start with ColourPop. So I'm gonna take my pencil. Now, the only thing that I don't really like about this is that it's not really good retractable. Like you can't retract it at all. What you have is just what you have. So I'm just using a little bit. I'm going to take the pencil and align the bottom of my brow just to create some definition. And I just start from the inner brow and work my way out. Think of this kind of like coloring. You want to make sure that everything is even and everything is straight and that you stay in the lines of your brows. Now I'm going to define the top of my brow and I don't really start from the absolute inner part of my brow I leave about a centimeter undefined and then work my way out I always go back and fill in just a little bit at the lower part of my brow just to give it a little bit more definition I'm going to take my ColourPop brow color in Bang & Brunette and my eyebrow brush and get a little bit of product on there then I'm going to go in and start to fill in the direction of my hair because you want it to look as natural as possible. And once I get in the inner part of my brow, I'm going to do just some soft upward strokes just to give it a blended look. Very soft, very natural, not too harsh. Now for comparison purposes, we're going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown and just repeat all the same steps that we did for the first brow. Then we're going to fill the eyebrows with the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and a eyebrow brush. And to prevent my eyebrows from becoming completely unruly throughout the day, I like to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It also comes in several tints, but this will definitely keep those bad boys in place all day. So now that I'm pretty much done filling in my brows and defining them, the last thing I'm going to do is just kind of give them a lift with some concealer. So I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. 
and it's also what I used to highlight and then one of the ends from a it cosmetics duo brush so I use this for eyeshadow and you use this for eyeshadow too but I also use this just to kind of get like a nice clean lift take the brush get some on the tip there you don't need a ton at all because you don't want it to be too obvious um but I have a little bit on the brush here as you can see just a little bit at the tip there and then what I will do is go right under the brow just under the brow but kind of clean it up and then blend it So just kind of blend it a little bit and then if it seems like it's a little bit too bright or too harsh, you can just blend it a little bit more. It looks really clean under there. Now I just go back in for a little bit more um, on the brush, on the tip. I do the same thing with the other brow. Just get a nice clean lift. right up under the brow sometimes if I'm in the mood I'll do above the brow as well or just kind of like right here but I don't really need that today or want that so I'm just going to do right under the brow and then now I'm going to clean it up and blend it out Now that I'm done with my brows, let's talk about the products. So this is the ColourPop brow and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow. I will say you could probably see a difference between ColourPop and Anastasia Beverly Hills and the biggest one is definition. Um, this brow is not as defined as Anastasia Beverly Hills. Also another thing that I think that kind of contributes to that is the color. So I got brunette in both. Anastasia Beverly Hills dark brown used to be called brunette so that's why I decided to get brunette in ColourPop. Now the pencils are pretty good. They're actually about the same size. They, no, they are the same size. I think that's good. You're getting about the same thing with both of these. The quality is just pretty different. I'd say this is a little bit more gel-like. Um, it glides a little bit better but um, the definition just isn't the best. I would definitely go with this brow pencil over ColourPop, but if you're looking for a more inexpensive option and that isn't really a huge deal to you, then ColourPop might be a better option than paying $20, about $23, for the brow wigs from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is called the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this one is in dark brown. So I get the dark brown pencil, then I get the dark brow the dark brown dip brow and they work perfectly together they're the same color um i can fill in perfectly with this now color pop as you can see wait no, no no let me bring this one back you can see the colors are pretty different even though they're both technically brunette the colors are very different color pop is much lighter than this one and so if you remember me saying these are about the same color, but this is significantly lighter. And so I think that kind of contributes to my brows looking completely different um, because it's kind of tinting them lighter. And it's a little bit more of a gel formula for the ColourPop brow um, pot. So it's okay. I would say it's okay, but I would not get this color again i would probably go with black and brown if i were to get another one but i mean yeah i wasn't really impressed with this pot and mostly it was because of the color if the color matched a little bit better then maybe but the fact that the colors didn't really match up and it was so light of a brown no now if you're going to compare colors this is very similar to chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills I would say it's very close to that so if you're chocolate 
in Anastasia Beverly Hills, this would be great for you and probably the brunette too. But um, I'd probably go with black and brown next time. Um, yeah. So like I said, you can see a difference. But if I were to get ColourPop again, like get both of them in place of Anastasia Beverly Hills, it would be mostly to save money. It would not be really because of the quality. Um, I feel like you're get, you're giving up a little bit of quality with ColourPop. Anastasia is just completely defined. Um, and I don't say that because I buy the products all the time. I'm saying that because you can see it. I just wanted to show you guys this because I am a huge Anastasia fan and I know a lot of women out there are like that is like the go-to brow product. Is Colourpop trying to compete with Anastasia? I'm pretty sure they're not. But since so many people are talking about Colourpop and you might also be an Anastasia fan like me, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys this comparison just in case you're wondering and I'm pretty sure you are. If you guys have tried um, the Colourpop brow products already, let me know. Did you get the black and brown if you're kind of similar to my hair color or did you get the brunette and what did you think about it? If you haven't tried it yet because it's been super sold out, sorry about that. Hopefully they restock it soon. I haven't checked as of today if they have. But um, I hope this video helped you out trying to figure out which color you're going to get when they do restock. If you guys haven't checked out my Beautycon spring break vlog, go click on that and check it out. It's about 30 minutes, so it's not too long. It's not too short either. And you guys will get to see everything that happened at Beautycon. You guys are going to love it. And then later on this week, I'll probably end up doing my haul of everything I got from Beautycon because it's so much stuff. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to show it to you guys. And if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Some of you guys have already told me that you want to see my everyday eyeshadow look and that is coming soon. But um, I definitely want to know if there's anything else that you guys want to see on the channel. I think that's about it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.